make them scarce at farmers markets. Yeah, new specialist Mike Anderson shows us what one farm is doing to get by. You bet. Those vine ripe reds at your corner fruit stand are becoming harder to find. Normally this plant would be you know, up to the top of these stakes. Jake Harward says he's seeing his worst harvest ever in 20 years of growing tomatoes. And the problem is, is we've we've put all the expense into, you know, laying the plastic, putting the irrigation lines down. Uh, we stake our tomatoes up to trellis them. Costs that are now in the ground at his Utah County farm, gone with about 90 percent of his crop, all lost to disease. And Harwood says there's likely a couple of things going on. Plants like this one that picked up the virus from a fly out there. To this. Probably the roots just uh, you can see they don't really have hardly anything going on here. Plants that are now dry and brittle being blamed on conditions that came with a cooler spring. A lot of the disease that we have is come is from the soil. The, it's a root borne disease that comes when you plant in cold soils. All of that adding up to about 18,000 plants that Harwood says can't be saved. Yeah, it's hard to drive by the field because normally, you know, the field's full and loaded with tomatoes and we're picking hundreds of boxes every day and you know, now we're picking 30 or 40 a day if we're lucky. But to keep customers happy with orders and in making sure they can find tomatoes at their stands, he says they've resorted to buying from other farmers out of state, and he's heard from other growers that are doing the same. We're just doing it mostly just to have some tomatoes for people. Um, it's not a, a not a big money maker for sure. It's making for smaller profit margins. Luckily, other crops turned out well, but Howard says between obstacles like this, the drought and the pandemic... It's always something you're dealing with Mother Nature and farming and being out here and trying to do the best you can. Just one more challenge to add to the many that come with this life. It's a pretty big hit financially, but that's the risk of farming, I guess. You know, sometimes you lose and sometimes you win. In Springville, Mike Anderson, KSL 5 News. Mike, thanks. Hey,